Hello everyone, Ms. Linsmeyer here. Today we're going to read a book called Acoustic Rooster and His Barnyard Band by Kwame Alexander, illustrated by Tim Bowers. But first, I'd like you to see some faces and see and hear some names that are going to be important for you to understand what's happening in this story. The first person is Billy Holiday. I'd invite you to say the name after I say it. So if I say Billy Holiday, you say I hope you said it. That's Billie Holiday. She's a singer, a phenomenal musician. I love her music. Billie Holiday is her name. Next is Ella Fitzgerald. Can you say Ella Fitzgerald? Ella is widely known as being the greatest jazz singer of all time. Next is Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington played piano and composed all sorts of music that we still would recognize if we heard today. Miles Davis. Miles Davis is an extremely famous trumpet player and composer, and he wrote music that changed the face of all jazz music and all music that followed it forever, Miles Davis. And lastly, this is a fun one to say, Try hard. It goes Thelonious Monk. His name is Thelonious Monk. Say Thelonious Monk. So we have these special names that I want you to remember as we listen to our story today. Okay, everybody. So now that we know those names, which were Billy Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald, Duke Ellington, Miles Davis, and Thelonious Monk were ready to listen to Acoustic Rooster and his Barnyard Band. Acoustic Rooster sat outside, strumming his bass guitar. He practiced jazz all summer long so he could be a star. Now, every year about this time, Farmer announced his plan to hold a barnyard talent show and find the farm's best band. Acoustic Rooster asked to join Thelonious Monkey's crew, but farmer's rules prevented that because they lived at the zoo. Mules Davis led an orchestra that featured three cool cats. Ella Finch Gerald had a trio, but Rooster couldn't scat. Rooster was feeling kind of blue, then heard a baby grand. I have a great idea, he said. I'll start my own jazz band. So he went to see his cousin, a pianist of great fame. He found him on the riverbank. Duck Ellington's his name. Duck took him to the Cotton Club to hear Bee Holiday sing. Bee said, honey, I'll join your band as long as you can swing. A drummer with a big ol' smile was itching for a gig. I've got cowbells and conga drums. I'm a percussion pig. Mighty fine to meet you, said Pig. I'm Poncho Ernesto Cruz. Duck told him, friend, your name's too long. Pork chop is what we'll use. The talent show began with mules blowing his bebop horn. Then Ella followed with a song as sweet as candy corn. Acoustic Rooster's band performed a bossa nova tune. The hen from Ipanema made the barnyard chickies swoon. The band's encore came round midnight in grand finale style. Acoustic Rooster's jazzy riff drove the barnyard wild. When at last the votes were tallied, Mules Davis won first prize. Rooster and his band placed second and tears swam in his eyes. We really got some buzz, B said, then Mules headed their way. The words he spoke brought lots of smiles. That rooster sure can play. 
Acoustic Rooster headed home, his guitar in his hand. He didn't win the talent show, but he had the world's best band. This here is a glossary of all of the different words that you heard during that read along. So you'll see over here, B Holiday is based on, have you guessed it? Billy Holiday, who was an American jazz singer and songwriter. She was admired all over the world for her deeply personal and intimate singing style. Next, Ella Finch Gerald is based on Ella Fitzgerald, an American jazz vocalist known for her improvisation and scat singing. She is widely considered the greatest jazz singer of all time. Duck Ellington is based on Duke Ellington, an American pianist, composer, big band leader, and one of the greatest figures in the history of jazz. Mules Davis is based on Miles Davis, an American jazz trumpeter, flugelhorn player, band leader, composer, and one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century. And lastly, Thelonious Monkey is based on Thelonious Monk, an American jazz pianist and composer often regarded as a founder of the bebop style of jazz. You can find this book on our epic reading log. It's called Acoustic Rooster. And if you'd like, you can read about all the other funny words that you heard me say during that jazz book. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.